and welcome, my name is Aishan Bot. I'm a dedicated mobile game enthusiast and today I'm going to show you how to play League of Legends Wild Rift on your PC without capture card, without app mirroring and actually even without your phone. You can play League of Legends Wild Rift emulated on your PC without any other tools. You just need the software called Bluestacks and this is what I'm going to show you today play League of Legends Wild Rift only on your PC without a phone. I got a lot of questions from people why I actually play Wild Rift on PC since it's a mobile game, you should play it on your mobile. The problem is when you try to stream it, you'll find a lot of obstacles, how to mirror the screen of your phone, or you don't want to look at your small phone size, or your tablet doesn't support like um, being captured or whatsoever. I had all those struggles. And after I tried capture card, I, I tried app mirroring, I tried Samsung Flow, I tried a lot of different things. And I still have to say Bluestacks works the best for me. Okay, so that's what I'm going to show you today. So first of all, you have to install the Bluestack app. You just go to bluestacks.com. I will post all the necessary links below. Then you just download it, Bluestacks 4, you don't have to download the beta, just take the version which is already valid. And then you will install it and after installation, you will get this app here basically on your uh, on your PC. You can open it in a multi instance or in a single instance like this one here. And if I now scroll down the screen, you can see like the whole app interface of Bluestacks, you will have different tabs like this and you will have a sidebar which is really important when you want to map your keys so right now you just usually go into home then you go into google play store then you type in for example wide rift search it then it will show you the game you download it install it then you click on open and it should land then on this page here if you open it it will basically open another tab and then you will have wide rift here right you can enter it, you see just the same interface as always, like in on your mobile phone or on your mobile device, tablet, whatsoever. But the only difference is right now, like all the buttons here in game are touchable with your mouse. You just can touch, click and play, which is perfect right now on plat uh, platform, even with Bluestack. I think we can do even more than that. The most important part for you guys to know is basically how to map the buttons to the game. And this is where actually this part, like the right part, like the sidebar comes into game. You click on the, the things, this icon here, which looks actually like a keyboard, and then it will open keyboard. You can, you can go actually even for controller or you can go for keyboard, but I usually go for keyboard. And then if you want to edit it, you click on edit and then it will open even more. So when you click on the keyboard icon, then you click on the edit, like this here. It's all in German, but you click on editor and then it will open basically the mapping here. And then it's pretty simple. So you move your character, it's right click. Can you see it? Is it still so small? Should I make it even a little bit more bigger? Okay. Then for combat, for example, casting, quick cast, you can put it on the button. You can just change the button here if you like click on edit and then you can change the button for example for me right now it's cool you can like shift cool if you want to or space or whatever but cool works for me cancel still t works for me so basically quick spell one two three four is just like the same as you would do in league of legends you will go cool w e r and the space is for attack that also worked pretty fine for me and um, C for minions, X for tower, upgrade skill, I went it on alt. Some people go with shift, I go with alt. And recall, I put it on A because I'm used to it. You can put it on any other button you want. And utility skill usually is also DF, just like in League of Legends. And after you have like mapped all the keys you want, you just click on save. And then they will display here even on your overlay, you can see it. And when you go into game, it will just be like the same experience as if you were playing League of Legends on your PC, but just in the mobile version. So I found out this way for me because it was an easy way to play on my mobile phone when I'm on the run, but I'm still able to stream it in high quality on a big stream when I'm actually streaming the game on Twitch, Trovo, or YouTube, or, or face, uh, Facebook. Yeah, and um, it's much easier like this because I can put just my game here on the screen and the chat on the other screen. I look at the screen and still can read the chat. 
But if I would be playing like this, it's pretty hard to look at the chat or like there into the chat. So I will usually like, I have to literally get out of game to answer like the audience or the viewers and just to keep it connected. But with this version, Bluestacks on PC, it's just like every other game I play, it's just like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I still can keep myself connected with the chat and I really prefer that version. I've tried now so much, I literally messed around for two weeks and this was still the best solution I could find. I couldn't also find a better emulator than Bluestacks. It is pretty heavy on your resources, so if you don't have enough GPU, you have to check it up. And if you stream with Streamlab OBS and Bluestacks together, it can get pretty intense. Your even like a gaming PC might not be able to handle it. That's why I recommend OBS plus Bluestacks. That works actually pretty well together, and you can still run a bunch of other chat programs or whatsoever beside that. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, post it below in the comments. Um, please follow the channel. Also, check me out here as you can see. Alpha G I Chambot, just add me. You can play together. At least, if I think right now it's gold and emerald I can play with. Depending on if I rank up or rank down, I will be able to play with silver people or gold people or plat people, or we will see where this will lead. We, right now, I really enjoy Wild Rift, that's why I'm making this video, because a lot of people ask me how actually to emulate Wild Rift on PC, and actually it's not that hard. But for the people who are still new as, I have to say, for you guys, it might be delayed, because the game might be not available in your Google App Store, and even if you get APK, it might be VPN blocked. So right now, just wait for the region version you can get. If you're in Asia, it's okay. If you're in Europe, it's okay. Americans have to wait like for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. And then you should be able to find it in your Google Play Store. Then just download it, install it, run it. Easy peasy, perfect game. And it's very easy to stream too. So thanks for watching us. See you next time. Bye-bye.